Akila Ahmed. Please welcome her with salawat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Akila Ahmed is an equalities campaigner specializing in youth and gender issues. She has over 10 years experience of supporting vulnerable individuals with complex social and mental health difficulties, providing high intensity support services to young and homeless people from diverse backgrounds, including refugees, as asylum seekers, ex-offenders, and BM BAME groups. Today she'll be speaking about modern day activism. Salawat. Assalamu alaikum. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about um, modern day activism. I consider myself a modern day activist. In the past, being an activist meant going on protests, taking part in sit-ins and going on marches. But with modern technology and social media, society has changed rapidly over the last 20 years or so. And with it, so has activism. So what does it mean to be a modern day activist? Well, firstly, activism still includes going on marches. In January 2017, the day before the inauguration of President Trump, I joined the Women's March in London and gave the opening speech to over 100,000 people who came to protest a march not only against President Trump, but everything that he symbolized and everything that he was against, including freedom, equality, human rights and justice. It was for me an incredibly empowering and significant moment, but also I felt for Muslims and in particular Muslim women across the UK. For the first time in my life, I felt true solidarity and support from people across boundaries of faith, sexuality, ethnicity and gender. So marching can be a very important tool in bringing people together across divides. And if they're done in the right way, they can send a strong and symbolic message. They are critical to a healthy democracy. However, they are not the beginning and the end of activism. Often taking part in the march can leave people feeling disempowered if they do not see their expectations fulfilled. And a good example of this is the march against the war in Iraq. As an activist, it's important to have a call to action for your campaigners and for your um, people who are taking part in your campaign. It, any call to action should be specific and tangible. So for example, um, in a campaign you can ask people to donate to a particular cause or write to the MP or local councillors about specific issues with tangible requests that can be implemented. So for example, this year, on the anniversary of Trump's inauguration with the Women's March on London, I created 10 calls to action, which included support for the people of Grenfell, an end to period poverty, and donations to rape crisis centers and women's organizations that have had their public funding cut. Often, it's women who are disproportionately affected by austerity. As a modern activist, it's much easier nowadays to lend your voice to campaigns through Twitter or Facebook. However, the downside of social media is that echo chambers are created and as a result, people are only interacting and amplifying like-minded people who share their views. And we have quite um, critical challenges with Brexit, Trump and increasingly anti-immigrant and anti-Muslim sentiment across Europe and other parts of the world. It's imperative as Muslims that we do not stay safe in our bubbles and our echo chambers. The challenges are such that we need to find allies beyond our own communities. And we need to find ally allies within communities whose lifestyle choices, for example, we would not necessarily agree with, or politically we would not be aligned with. A necessity, and probably one of the biggest challenges of being a modern day activist, is to engage with others that make you feel uncomfortable. If you're not feeling uncomfortable, then you're, then you're probably not reaching out to the right people. And as the saying goes, you are only preaching to the converted. Our Prophet Sallallahu did most of his da'wah through his exemplary behavior. And in my activism and engagement, I try to follow the example of our Prophet and the Ahl al-Bayt, especially when engaging with people from other cultures and other communities and around their struggles. Through being an activist, I've learned that you have to show up for those who are not like you. If you're only concerned with activism, which is around your own liberation, your own rights and your own freedoms, then don't be surprised when people do not show up for you. 
They're just doing simply what you've been doing. Thank you.